Karina doesn't want to get vaccinated against COVID-19. So she's under lockdown, like two million other Austrians. As of today, she's only allowed to leave her home for essential reasons like work or shopping for food. We met her in a Vienna park where she's allowed to take exercise. I was walking by the cafes and it's a bit strange to look inside and know that if I wanted to, I couldn't go in and join. It makes you feel really excluded and, and ostracized. The lockdown for the unvaccinated is controversial. Some took to the streets in protest. Police say they'll carry out random spot checks on people in public places and fine anyone who can't show a certificate of vaccination or recovery. Austria's chancellor says the government was forced to act because of the surge in new infections. We must raise the vaccination rate. It is still shamefully low. This vaccination rate will not allow us to escape from the pandemic. It will keep us trapped in a vicious circle from one lockdown to the next. Since the measures tightened, more Austrians have been getting jabbed. As you can see, there are long lines of people that are forming here outside this Vienna vaccination centre. Some people are coming for their booster jabs, others are getting their first injections. Some Austrians are concerned the move isn't constitutional. Karl is pro-vaccination, but he's worried about the impact of the lockdown. I think it's a catastrophe to divide between vaccinated and not vaccinated. Clothes shopping is now only for the vaccinated. Many Austrians say that makes them feel safer. We all have to be vaccinated. That's the only solution. Otherwise, we have the problem for quite a long time. People disagree on lockdowns, but if the COVID numbers keep rising, Austria faces a bleak Christmas. Bethany Bell, BBC News, Vienna.